40 foot pleasure boat that crashed into the jetties at Perdido Pass became a curiosity to beachgoers and a nuisance for city leaders. Two weeks later, more than 20,000 of you watched on Facebook Live today as crews finally removed it. News 5's Debbie Williams has our story on the Baldwin County Beat. Well, here's something you haven't seen in a couple of weeks here in Orange Beach at Perdido Pass the jetties without a boat on it. For more than two weeks, it sat there, but it only took a couple hours to take it away. I thought it was pretty cool. Walter Marine contracted by the city of Orange Beach to remove the boat to the tune of $47,000. They used a barge, a crane, an excavator, and almost a dozen men, including a diver, to maneuver two huge straps around the boat, dislodging it from the jetties, and eventually lifting it onto a barge. Took a little while. Dozens of beachgoers watched the show from shore. Once in the air, the damage to the bottom of the boat clearly evident. For two weeks and two days, the boat teetered back and forth on the jetties after owner Stephen Craig Hallam crashed in the wee hours of the morning on June 13th. He was arrested for public intoxication. That's why I don't drink alcohol and drive on boats. Hallam will get a hefty bill from the city in hopes of recouping some of the cost. I think it's job well done. After spending a couple of weeks on the jetties going back and forth with the tides, this is probably the last trip that boat will be taking. On the Baldwin County Beat in Orange Beach, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.